Hey guys, um, this is going to be my review on the, Dead, the new Deadpool game. Now, first things first, the reason why they made this game is because they refused to make a Deadpool movie after Ryan Reynolds told the community after the Wolverine Origins movie that he was going to personally make sure they were going to make a Deadpool movie with him as Deadpool and the real Deadpool, the one from the comics, not the one that's got the blades in his arms and everything. And the one that gets decapitated and lives in the end. If you don't, if you didn't know that part. Well, after that kind of died down since he became Green, Green Lantern, he couldn't really be Deadpool and Green Lantern. So, they decided to make a game. And they even make that joke in the first trailer that they made with it. Was him hammering the Wolverine Origins one. Which was really funny. And I, that caught my eye first thing. Now, this game I've been waiting for since the teaser trailers and everything. It's looked like it was going to be cool, and it is cool. It's fun. It's not diff too difficult. Yes, there's some points where you're like, I'm going to die if you don't have the right equipment. But other than that, it's a real simpler game to play. It's comic-styled, and you have it's comic-styled. If you've ever played the arcade game Captain Smiley, it kind of works like that. When you have your star in your chest talking to you, and it's got the like, captions and everything, it works like that, and it looks like it too, like almost like a similar engine. Now the now the world is just Deadpool being, um, n uh, being aware that you're playing the game and he's a video game and that he wants to make this. And he's making it the way he wants it to be. And you're looking it through his and other parts of his mind's eyes. Because Deadpool's crazy. And he's got two voices, several voices in his head. And the game gives you points of view of the two of two of the voices. Maybe a third one. I couldn't tell if that one was being the, his voice, the normal voice, or being the other guy's voice. Couldn't tell. But other than that, there's three voices. Deadpool and the two voices in his head. The really stupid crazy one and the kind of intellectual one. And serious one. Now, they all have a bit of his wackiness and crazy, and they kind of intertwine, and they actually play off each other very well and throughout the entire story, giving much awesome commentary throughout the game. So it's really hard to make a, co a commentary gameplay with it, because Deadpool and his voices are giving commentary the entire game. Um, I would like to record the game. I rented it and beat it. I would r like to make record and do commentary over it, but it's hard to when characters in the game are always talking 24-7. So it's very difficult to do commentary when you don't want to talk over the jokes and all the funny things and the hints. Because the hints aren't just like, pause the game, look at pan over something saying, oh, you could do this and this to help you play. No, it's just them saying, hey, you should probably do this, and it probably would make you kick ass better or whatever. They would rephrase it funny and funnily, and there's just it's really fun. It's really entertaining, and it's it's just a laugh. If you take thing, if you just screw around, you get a chance for that. You like um, not to spoil anything. In the beginning, the beginning is a really good example. There's a part where um, I, there's in the, when you're in his, you start out in his apartment. And you can walk, and you walk around, and you can go interact with so many things, and you get an achievement for interacting with all those things if you can find them all. But my game stopped working, so I didn't get the achievement because my game stopped working in the middle of my ap of my apartment one, so I couldn't. So it glitched, so I couldn't get all the apartment things um, completed. But that's just a little thing. Overall, it was very entertaining. Um, the gameplay is pretty smooth. It works kind of like Batman's countering system and combat system. It was um, very, it's nice that you can upgrade weapons and you have a variety of weapons. Basically you have melee weapons and it's just like you have swords and you have, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're rat, whatever the Ninja Turtle Raphael has. Then you have um, hammers, you have, then you have your guns, you have pistols, you start with pistols and you get shotguns and SMGs and an assault rifle and a pulse, and a, or is it like a pulse rifle or something like that, and like a future gun. And then you've got like your throwables, grenades, traps. And, it, and then you can upgrade Deadpool, upgrade your health, um, how much money you gain, all that stuff. It's very fun and it's very entertaining. I really enjoy it, and I really hope that you guys try it and enjoy it as well. Um, I've been recording recently and stuff, and I've gotten a lot of games from Steam and such. I highly recommend getting it, because it's a really fun game. It's fun, it's entertaining, and it gives you so many laughs, and it's good gameplay. It's got X-Men throw-ins because, you know, Deadpool interacts with Wolverine and all of them very much. So, I enjoyed that, because it's just got lore, it's got um, so much information and so much other stuff, and it's just cool, and it's just nice to see 
this game, and it's wacky because you're in Deadpool's brain, in his point of view. It's not like reality and then Deadpool's just saying crazy wacky things. You're playing as Deadpool in his brain. Cause, and he's, and it just breaks that, that wall between the audience and the game many times throughout the entire thing. And it's just entertaining and it's fun and it's just great getting to know Deadpool and getting into his personality. So, highly enjoyed it. Nine, nine and a half out of ten. Great game. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys go play it and just play it over and over again and everything. Well, that's my review for Deadpool. I know this is kind of short, but you know, it's a good game. Didn't have too much to talk about it because, you know, it didn't have that much depth into it. So, this is Lightning D27, and that's my review on the Deadpool game.